Hey guys, Roger here, or welcome from Diversion. And before today's video begins, I like to tell you about this amazing artist that I know. Um, she does incredible artwork, and they all look fantastic and amazing. In like at the end process, and also the process of her doing it. Here is some. Here is something she did for me right now. So yeah, there is the image of what she did to my clothing. Um, it looks amazing and I love it. Also, if you guys want to check out her artworks, you can check it out on her Instagram. Her Instagram name will pop up right now. Also, it, her link will be at the top of the description. So yeah, if you guys want to check out, go check out Instagram, link in top of the description. And also, if you got, guys want to check out some videos that she made, she has a TikTok as well. So her TikTok name will be also in the description. So go check her out. And yeah, if you guys don't believe me, here is some artwork that she did. So yeah, there's a little preview of some, most, some of the artworks that she has done over the years. They all, as I said, they all look amazing. And yeah, so go follow her and of course, enjoy the video. Hey guys, Roger here or Roger from Diversion and today I have another deck profile for video for you guys. So today's one is Authors, the Link Joker from previous series, like the V series and everything. Um, it's a lot different than you think, but the pick, the like cards and stuff look similar. So yeah, the, all these cards are from the um, first booster set, the uh, Genesis of the Five Grades. This is recorded before the second series. I will do an update on my deck later on for that. And yeah, I'm going to show you now. So obviously the first card is my starter, which is Cardinal Fang Fovey, this is the starter for the uh, author's deck. Uh, it's just pretty much every other unit when right upon draw, if you want to draw a card, so it's pretty vanilla. The second right phase is look at shiny Cardinal Noid Rotis. Now, I have I run four of these in the deck because when it's placed on Vanguard, you can search your deck for the, a wall card, which is really helpful for the right stage. And during the battle that it attacked or boosted, if your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight, it gains 2,000 power. So it's pretty much a 10k booster and attacker. So that's why I have four of these. And yeah, which is really helpful. The next card is this one, Cardinal no Noid Cubisa. Now I have around four of these because its ability is really helpful. In a world, when a world is putting your orders on, choose one of your rig, your units and gets five thousand power until the end turn. So basically, when when this is rolled upon and you activate the world and you have another rig on, it gains five thousand power. And during your turn, if your world is abyssal dark knight, this unit gains five thousand power. So a fifteen k attacker, which is pretty amazing it's just like as many as as good as power level your tokens that you have which is really amazing so yeah i run four of these and yeah really helpful the next ride phase is this one the va the main guy in the deck which is cardinal deus office the main card during your turn if your world is not a uh, dark knight or abyssal dark knight five thousand power so 18, 18k attack for Vanguard Rigor, which is pretty good, which is absolutely amazing. And if your world is a bit stuck, now kind of blast two and call up to three Shadow Army tokens to the rear guard. So Shadow Army tokens are, are this guy. It doesn't go in your main deck, but it's like a side deck for if you played a V series. It's like it's like the uh, cargo one where you have tokens on the side. Fifteen thousand power for attack or boost for a grade one, which is like what? <laughs> this is a powerhouse deck. If I, if I haven't mentioned this yet. So 15k attack, grade 1 boost. 
you can you're pretty much essentially attacking for almost like 30k like 28k or 30k or something for your ride phase so yeah this is amazing and yeah so you definitely gotta need four of these for persona ride and everything which is absolutely phenomenal so yeah this is the next guy and next one is this one usable recharger when this point is guarding a circle, counter blast one. If your world is Dark Knight, 5,000 power, a uh, 5,000 shield. And if you're Abyssal Dark Knight, 10,000 shield. So it's essentially like a, another 15k shield. I ran three of them because, well, I don't want to clog up my deck with too, ma too much, like, useful chart. Well, it's helpful, but, like, other than guarding it, it's not really that much. So, yeah, counter blast one is kind of cost, is a bit of a cost because, like, of tokens but like they're really good for shielding uh next card is this one the dominance immune balloony now you don't have to have this guy in your deck but i have him because at the end of battle you used it it boosted if your order zone has a set order which is basically i probably should show this next but if you if you have a set order put this in zone current judge counter charge one which is very helpful for this deck because like you're going to be counter blasting a lot because of the of the authors it's like counter blast two for armor tokens which is going to be really helpful for this deck next one is whoops i know my triggers this one how we moonlight night now when this now this is the order card that it was mentioning before um, so this card, I run four of these because, like, I found out if I had, like, f two of them, I can never get the cards unless you use his ability, unless you use, like, his ability, but you only get one, which is kind of sucks. So I have four of them, so I have a higher chance for the cards. So basically, it's Soul Blast 1 to play it. When this card is put in your order zone, draw a card. Order zone, if your order is on, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have two of them for Abyss of Dark Knight and Dark and one for Dark Knight. So I run four of these because why well, not extra draw for Soul Blast? Because this because this deck is really even Soul Blast oriented. Next one is the Grade Three one. So I run three of these, so seven seven order world cards in total. Some people can run eight, but like I prefer to run seven so I have more units. So this one is Soul Blast. Play with Soul Blast one again. When this card is put in your Order zone, choose one of your front row, opponent's front row regards and retire. So it's basically instead of draw, it's a retire effect. So it's really helpful actually because it gets rid of a, one of your opponent's unit and you can get a world order, which is very nice. Next card is this one. This one is essential for authors because if your world is a Bishop Dark Knight, when this when this unit would attack, all, it battles all your opponents in the same opponent's regards and units in the same column so basically this basically means like it can swing for everyone if you the entire variety of their rear guards including the back row which is really rare for cards because if you think about it, i haven't seen much of like attacking every single row so this one is essential it's really helpful for destroying your their formations really easily and getting rid of the boosters so yeah i run four of them because well who wouldn't want to attack their entire column i run next card is this one fighting dragon gobble dragon this one is when this card from your hand during your turn if you have a set order kind of blossom closed card to rigor so it's basically essentially like for the ride chain but like the kind of one is a bit cost effective you don't have to run this guy but it's quite helpful I run one of him because, like, I don't want to give my counter blast too easily. So, yeah. Yeah, it's really helpful for your ride chain. But other than that, I don't really see much card in it. Next one is this one. The Polar Cold Monster Dumb... Dumber. It, oh, dr Drumbler. Sorry. When this unit is placed on Rhaegar, if your world is a bit of Dark Knight, so blast one and counter blast one for a card. So... Just like another draw phase card, he's not really that helpful because like you need the counter blast for your tokens and the soul. It's just like meh, so it's not really essential for this card. So I'm not gonna talk about him that much. The over trigger, 
essential card for authors because 100,000, 100 million power. And the additional fact is double the attack and crit of all your front row units in season turn. So it's really an amazing card to have in the brand gate decks because like it's pretty much saying you can give power to give 100 million to a unit and then you can double that unit's power which is like 200 million so the only way they can guard this is a perfect guard which is really this card is actually a made a strong card for um brand gate because brand gets all power on card. card. so yeah obviously i have to run one of him and then i have the four p new pgs uh, if you if you have four PGs, slap it into your deck immediately. As I said in previous videos, um, for the better ch for the better like defense, because choose one of your units and it cannot be handed to the end of battle when you put a guardian circle. Obviously, it's just normal. But if you hand us two or more cards, choose a card and you hand this card. So this is like a last like defense resort, basically, like. All the new P all the new perfect guards from the Genesis of the Five Grade, the first set, has all the has one for each clan a nation. So yeah, this is essential card for pretty much all decks. Not not this card, the nation card for like PG and the new PG. So yeah, really helpful. Uh next card is this one. I have four front triggers in this deck because as I said this Deck is power oriented, so yeah, four PG four front triggers really helpful. I think crits is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crits because this deck is so power oriented, it's ridiculous. So it actually really the these crits actually really work really well with the over trigger because think about it, if you get the crit first, you can give it to your like Vanguard and then get this for two like another two hundred million and four crit. So. It's amazing card to, it's really, it's not essential, but like, you don't have to play four, uh, seven crit, but it's really helpful for bra like power into deck for like brand gate. So yeah, not least the heal triggers. It's just like, well, I think you know what heal triggers are at this stage, but like heal triggers are like needed for every single deck in the world. Cause like it helps you last longer in the game. So, and getting 10,000 power, so yeah. So yeah guys, that's it for the deck profile for my Authors deck. If you guys have enjoyed this video, smash the like button if you have. And let me know in the comments what you guys want to see on my in my channel next. Games, punishments, IRL video, challenges, or more of these profile decks. I have a few, I still have a few more to go through. But like, anyway. If you guys have any ideas for this channel, leave it know in the, down in the comments. If you have any idea for vlogs, let me know wh where in the comments where you want me to go for the next vlog. And yeah, if you can hit that subscribe button, much much appreciated. Bell notifications for notifications of more videos. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed. And yeah, of course, see you next time. Peace.